I'm going to show you how to make any animation into stop motion. It's super easy to do and takes literally seconds to implement. So for this first example, I have a basic bouncing ball animation. The process to get to traditional stop motion is actually super simple. It only takes a few steps. Step one, bake your animation. To do this, select your objects that you want to turn into stop motion. Press F3 and search for bake action. Click this setting and slap that OK button. And in a few seconds, your timeline should look something like this. Step two, change your interpolation. The aesthetic of stop motion is created by what's called straight ahead animation. This is due to the fact that stop motion animators literally need to animate one frame at a time. This is disgusting. Lucky for us, we can replicate this style by simply changing the way Blender interpolates each keyframe. So in your timeline, select all of your keyframes with A, then press T. This will open up an interpolation window where we just need to make sure we have constant selected. Step three, scaling. Obviously this isn't yet stop motion. In order to get there, we need to change the amount of keyframes in our scene. Best way to do this is by Thanos snapping half of them out of existence. It's actually really simple to do. Select all of your keyframes in your timeline by pressing A, then press S to scale. Now this is important, type in 0.5. This will scale them down by half, effectively overlapping keyframes and culling the other half. Once that's done, we now need to rescale them by a factor of 2. So again, press S and then type in 2. Your timeline should now have a keyframe on every other frame and you should now see your beautiful stop motion animation. So you have this awesome animation now. It looks like stop motion clearly, but it doesn't feel like stop motion. The reason why is due to your materials. Traditional stop motion uses real world objects at a macro level. Everything is real and tangible. For my projects, I personally use the double gun shader clay dough. The shader is incredibly tactile and gives you the illusion that you could almost touch what you're seeing on screen. It has stop motion features built into the shader and it just recently had its third major update. I thought this aligned perfectly with this video, so for anyone that's wanting to pick this up, I've got an affiliate link down below. Now if you truly want to level up your animation skills, I've created a playlist here with all of my animation tips and tricks videos. Thanks for watching.